What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is a very exciting day because we're making a classic margarita and a whole pitcher of Tommy's margarita. Who doesn't love a pitcher of fresh margs? Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more large format cocktail videos like this one. Margarita is a cocktail in the sour family. A sour is a cocktail that consists of three basic ingredients. Citrus, sweetener, and spirit. The sidecar, mojito, daiquiri, a gimlet, and the margarita. They're all in the sour family. Fun fact, all these sours are basically the same recipe. Take the margarita, for example. Margarita has tequila, orange liqueur, and lime. Switch the lime for lemon and the tequila for cognac, and what do you get? A sidecar. The gimlet is another perfect example. It has gin, lime, and simple syrup. Switch the gin for rum, and what do you get? A daiquiri. Click the link above to make the most badass daiquiri. If you want to learn more about the history and the other fun facts of the margarita and the Tommy's margarita, I'll leave it in the description below. I'm Gabriel Morales, and on this channel we drink, sip, talk booze, and do cocktail tutorials. If you want to help me out, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to be among the first one to see the next video. Also, follow me on all socials. I started uploading some extra content in there. All right, let's make this drink. First off, the classic margarita. We're going to build this in a shaker. First add one ounce or 30 mils of fresh lime juice. Then you're gonna add 3 quarter ounce or 22.5 mils of orange liqueur. I'm using a dry curacao. It is a bit dry in comparison to other styles of orange liqueurs. So therefore, to add a bit of depth to this classic, I'm gonna add a quarter ounce or 7.5 mils of agave nectar. You can find agave nectar at your local market. Then you're gonna add one and a half ounces or 45 mils of tequila blanco. This is sometimes also referred as tequila plata or silver. The most important thing is to only use tequila that is 100% agave. You can verify this in the box or in the label of the bottle. Here's some examples. Grab your chilled double rocks glass and add ice to your shaker. And also to your glass. Give this a good shake, 10 to 15 seconds. Once you're done shaking, grab your strainers and double strain this into a rocks glass with or without salt rim. You can garnish this drink with either a lime wedge or a lime wheel. Garnish your drink and enjoy. Let's give it a taste. Delicious. This is very refreshing. Classic margarita is a very simple drink, but what's very important about this drink to use freshly squeezed lime juice, the lime is very juicy. It brightens up the tequila very, very well. Use a little bit of agave that rounds up the cocktail very, very nicely. You can really taste the orange liqueur in this. I'm using a very dry orange liqueur. It works really well with this. It doesn't make the margarita very sweet. That's why I add a little bit of agave. It goes a very long way. Super simple, very easy. You can optionally add salt. I did it on mine. Now let's make a margarita for a big party. Next up, the Tommy's Margarita. 
This drink is partially responsible why margaritas are so popular in the United States. We're gonna make a whole bottle of this, about 750 mils. You got a few options here depending on what you have available. You can make this straight in a bowl, pour all the ingredients straight in the bottle, or make it in a glass beaker like this one. You're gonna need lots of limes for this. I juiced about eight whole limes for this drink. You can juice all these limes and also prepare the drink ahead of time, as long as you consume this drink the same day. Essentially, while you're juicing lime, you want a total of 6 ounces or 180 mils of fresh lime juice. First, you're gonna add your 6 ounces or 180 mils of fresh lime juice. Then add 3 ounces or 90 mils of blue agave nectar. Then add 12 ounces or 360 mils of tequila blanco. Followed by 6 ounces or 180 mils of filtered water. I poured tequila before the water because I don't want to overwater the batch. You can always add more water if it needs it, but it is harder to balance the drink if you already added too much water. Then we're gonna mix all the ingredients up and this is the perfect opportunity to taste and add more ingredients if it needs it. This is pretty good. Keep mixing all the ingredients until the agave is incorporated. Then you're gonna transfer to your bottle. Transfer the drink slowly while you pour it through a funnel, then seal and store it in the fridge. Now the reason I say that you can make this drink ahead of time, you want to have this drink pretty chilled. It'll take between one and three hours. So seal this, put it in your refrigerator, and then once it's nice and chilled, serve over a rocks glass with ice and garnish your drink. Cheers. Now that is a margarita. The difference between a classic margarita and a Tommy's margarita, instead of using orange liqueur, you use agave. Just agave nectar, straight up. This comes from the legendary bar in San Francisco, Tommy's Mexican Bar. Now the great thing about this is that you can bring a whole bottle to your friend's house or you could just do what I'm gonna do and drink it all by myself. The other thing that you can do is you can choose between using a lime wedge or a lime wheel. Uh, it's good to taste. Mmm. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm. Wow, it's so good. Since we're only using 100% blue agave tequila, the agave just brings up those little herbal notes and rounds it up with a little bit of sweetness. Delicious, very easy to drink, very refreshing. You can serve this on the rocks. If you have it chilled already, you can serve it up. You have it as shots. Do whatever you want with it. It's your margarita. You're taking it to your party. Definitely bash this a few hours in advance. The one thing I will tell you, do not do not leave it overnight. You should chill this batch for a few hours in advance. So you can do it in the morning and pop it in the afternoon. But as long as you drink it that same day, you're good. The thing is, the fresh lime juice does not taste the same the next day. I cannot emphasize that enough. The great thing about margaritas is just such an easy drink. Everybody knows what a margarita is. And, and the ingredients for this margarita are things that you probably have at home already. Fresh lime juice always fresh lime juice, agave nectar, and 100% blue agave tequila. That's it. Look at me, I'm enjoying this so much that I got salt all over my face. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you the next time.